passwords. They protect so much of our stuff, from our email, to our banking, to the bikes of our co-workers. And yet, our most common passwords are still things like QWERTY, or 12345678, or password, or pathetic for birthday. Oh, you know my birthday. Wait, are you stealing my bike? I'm illustrating a point. Ugh. So, there are two main problems with passwords. Yeah, and you didn't have to steal my bike to illustrate either of them. The first is they have to be long, like really long. Even if I didn't know your birthday, I could have opened your bike lock using brute force. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Brute force just means cycling through all the possibilities until you find the combination that works. Oh, right, like nerd brute forcing. Now, your idiot lock was only four characters long and each of those characters could be one of 10 possibilities. So 10 to the power of four means that there's just 10,000 options for me to cycle through. Since when can you do maths? Since always. And if I can do four tries per second, then the time it takes me to cycle through all of those options will just be... Ben, that's 41 minutes. 41 minutes, of course. But computers that hack online passwords can try 350 billion options per second, which is why good passwords need to be two things, long and random. Now, no one's gonna guess that. It's not your kid's name, I hope. Yeah. Dad, can I get it? No. A long and random password is also virtually impossible for a computer to brute force. A computer making 350 billion attempts per second would still take billions upon billions of years to get close to cracking it. How many years, precisely? Um, uh... It really is a great read for young and old. You don't even need to be a mathematician to enjoy it. It's a really long time. All right, so a hacker can't guess that password, but I can't remember it. Well, yes, that is a problem, but you could remember a passphrase. Passphrase? Yeah, remember how we said that good passwords are two things? Long and random. Right, so what if we took four totally random words and put them all together to make a passphrase? What, like dapper, trombone, minotaur, accountant? Sure, but I said totally random. That's just describing Clive. Hello. Hi, Clive. Now, a long and random passphrase like this is also impossible for a computer to brute force, but it's easy for you to remember. I guess if I have to only remember one weird passphrase. You're not gonna like problem two. You should never reuse passwords anywhere. I don't do that. Well, it's pretty common, over 80% of us do. And no wonder, on average, each person has around 27 online logins that need a password. Mm. So when we find a strong one that we can remember, we tend to reuse it. So? So, say that you use a password for something big and important like your Gmail account, right? Now, you can be pretty sure that Google is going to throw a lot of resources at cybersecurity, keeping that password safe. But if you reuse that same password at somewhere like Clive's Jazz and Accountancy Forums, well, Clive doesn't have the same resources to throw at security. And if somebody steals that password from Clive and it's the same as your Gmail password... Uh, I get it. So you're saying I need to remember 27 different passphrases. Well, that depends on how secure you want to be. But if the idea of remembering dozens of strong passphrases doesn't appeal to you, you could always use a password manager. Now, a password manager is a piece of software that's for your computer and your mobile devices and it costs between nothing and a couple of bucks a month. Now, what it does is it generates those long and complicated passwords for all of your accounts and then stores them behind one master password. So that way, the only password you ever need to remember is the password to your password manager. Okay, you just said password a lot of times just now. Okay, let's try something else. So think of a password manager like a strict but magical governess. For a spoonful of prudence makes the internet secure. Hello, I'm Mary Passwords. Here you are. Now, Mary here generates new, more secure passwords for all of your online accounts. How long would that take to set up? Quite a while, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but once she's done, she'll put all of those new passwords into her magic password bag, which you will then lock with your own really strong password, probably a four-word random passphrase. So go ahead and think of one. Isn't that just Clive? Something else. Great. 
Let's take it for a spin. Hello, Mary Passwords. So, let's say that you want to log into your online bank. Mary Passwords, a delight as always. And you, young man, would you like to make a withdrawal? I'll need to hear your password. So, you just need to give your master password to Mary Passwords. Super Keller, uppercase YB, 94 GMPQ. Wonderful. So, now you have a bunch of those long, unique passwords all stored in the one place and available across all of your devices. Wait. Didn't you just tell me like two minutes ago that I shouldn't have one password for all my accounts? I did hear you say that. How is this any different? OK, look. This isn't reusing the same password. This is storing a bunch of different passwords in one very secure place. Yeah, but won't hackers try to hack my password manager? Oh, almost constantly. Hi. In fact, hackers have breached the security of password managers before. There's no evidence that the passwords themselves were accessed, but in some instances, the companies warn their customers to change all of their logins. That's still not ideal. No. You know, a lot of tech writers seem to think that it's a risk worth taking in exchange for strong, unique passwords across the board. All right, let's go try a fight. I'd like to go home now, please. OK. Can I please have my bike back? Yes, and now it will be safe. From you? Look, the point is it'll be safe. Look, am I stuck with married passwords now? Don't slouch now, children. Look, if you take one thing away from all of this, it should be that you need long, random and unique passwords for all of your important logins. And if you have so few of those that you think that you can remember them, then go for it. But if you do decide to get a password manager, make sure you do your research. Websites like Wired and PC Mag and Choice all offer in-depth reviews about password managers. But make sure that those reviews are current. Wait a second, the reviews for Mary Passwords on this are terrible. <gasps> Super califragilistic Not now, Clive.